spring plan, like a closed pin. The only thing that's important is that it's sitting against the cork. If it's up here, the needle won't go through. So just place it down on the cork, like that. I always, and you'll be seeing it here, this is a white wine. If I just poured a red wine, there may be red wine left in this needle. I always clear it just before I push it through the cork. It also clears any air that might be in the needle, uh, out of the needle. So I want to clear it with argon. It's like sparging in a wine system. You give it a quick press. Also tells you that you have gas, argon gas. Press the needle through the cork, like so. No perfect place to demonstrate this, not <laughs> over here. So uh, restaurants are fancy, they serve like this. Uh, I just hold it, hold the bottle. Uh, in order for it to pour, it's just like if this were an open bottle. If I held the bottle like this, it wouldn't pour. Tip it up like so. And then what I do is I push the trigger to push gas in and I let go to let the wine come out. So when I press, it'll pressurize and let go, wine will come out. You'll notice it'll slow down and stop, and it's really slow. That's because the bottle is full of wine, and there's no room for the gas to get in. So I press multiple times, like so, almost like pumping. Each time I press, gas goes in. Every time I let go, wine comes out. It takes, I don't know, 20 seconds to pour a full glass or so with the standard needle. When you're done, to stop, all you do is drop your hand. That sound is the extra argon gas coming out. Then pull the needle out and take the clamp off. <laughs> it seems crazy, I know. Uh, there's a little bit of argon that uh, you'll see in white wine in particular that comes out almost immediately. It's one of the reasons I use argon is that it leaves wine faster than almost any other gas. Helium is faster. Uh, Nitrogen is really slow. So now um, you can take this bottle and store it the way you normally store it. You can put it back in your cellar, uh, you can put it in a fridge, you can do whatever you want, whatever you do with a normal bottle. Uh, cork is a natural elastic material. Its elasticity is dependent on two really big things, age. So an older cork will take a minute or so to close. Uh, and temperature. A really cold cork will take a minute or so to close. Uh, that's also why I use argon. Argon is heavier than air. Uh, and air won't go in during that minute as it's closing. So uh, this is a reasonably cold bottle, but it's already sealed. So I put this back, and I've done blind tastings on bottles like these, with Jancis Robinson, Robert Parker, uh, out years. Uh, and then we're holding big blind tasting series around the world. We've done 160 professionals, in Hong Kong, France, Germany, UK, United States um, with wines they access, sign, and date, and then we come back at three months, and then six months, and then one year, and they blind taste, uh, and the results show that it's random, uh, that they haven't picked it up, uh, which is, so it seems to work, it seems to work. So I want to make sure that you guys get a chance to taste these really fine wines, uh, and also that you guys have a chance to use Corbin and give it a shot. <laughs>